Hey, Lady Fish. 28th of September, 2018. And I would like to just present some things for your consideration. Uh, they came to me in the spirit, and I share them with you. Um, this is very, very telling in its own right. Um, but it, it really kicked off this morning when I saw this article. But it started a couple of days ago when I saw this Delta Airlines was out. Everything was grounded. Nothing moved for an hour um, on the night of the 25th, okay, due to a technology issue, which they do not elaborate on at all whatsoever. Um, but a couple of the articles, when I saw them, really, you know, showed me, told me that this is part of a ritual. This is, you know, it's all a ritual to those who serve this world. Um, most of them unknowingly, but nonetheless, this is all Satan's rituals and his magic. That's what it is. Um, so I see this article and I'm looking at this image and right away I see, of course, three delta planes delta 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 in the greek alphabet is the fourth letter okay now i can go through all this stuff if you want but we'll just go through the easy stuff the delta which is a triangle or a pyramid and the lowercase is essentially it's a serpent okay in an incomplete infinity and the delta is the fourth letter. So when I see this article here, the first thing I see is 444. Four, four. That's what I see. And of course, we can get into the symbol of it, and hopefully we will. This is, it can run really deep, you guys. Um, and then we see the hanger uh, numbers here 21, 19, 17. All right, but I see the 19 first and foremost, which is the tau. Okay, that's the 19th letter. Tau, and then the uh, Phi, the 21 is Phi, remember, as in Philadelphia, right? And then the 17, which is Victory. Uh, you add them all together, you have the 57, which is the Triple Tau, all right? Now, this goes deep, and, and I saw this stuff the other day, okay? And these couple of articles, I, I came across this one. One of the first things I see is right here on the airplane, where the wheel door is, 3322. Two, two. Remember the other day, the double-headed snake, the arch to the UN, 3322. Two, two. And there's a whole bunch of things to go along with this, but I'm just trying to do kind of like a summary. So when I saw this this morning, the Jesuits are saying that they don't want him uh, to be nominated anymore. Okay, They were endorsing him, and now they're not. Now, Kavanaugh, he is a Catholic, educated man. St. Bonaventure, he went to, which is of the Franciscan order, okay? Now, you got to remember, okay, Franciscan, Francis, none of these orders, including the Jesuits, okay, these are dating back eight, nine hundred, a thousand years, and none of these orders, the Jesuits, the Franciscans, you name it, came into being without the expressed consent of the Pope. It all goes through the Pope. In the coat of arms for the Franciscans, its original coat of arms was the Tau Cross. Okay? Now, again, this can go so, so deep, you guys. So deep. But... You know, I'm just trying to give you an idea of the spiritual aspect of what we see. We see these seemingly very good men being lambasted by evil people. And that's true. But they're both serving the same master. They're a house divided. You understand what I'm saying? It's just the way it is. So this is what we're tied into here. It's all part of the same stinking ritual. You know, which brings us back to the uh, the arch, the arch. This is interesting because their little map, right, that they provided on their website here. Uh, literally, when I first clicked this the other day, a few days ago, it literally brought me to a place mark that was right where I showed you, right here, and the go to Mendes, right. It turns out, you guys. 
okay? It's not going there. And there's only two other people that I can find that are talking about this. And I'll link these guys. This is uh, World Events and the Bible. And what's this one? Hidden in the Crag. And, and this one here is really pretty good. And he provides some excellent pictures. So I'm going to link this. And definitely go here and check this guy out. And his interpretation of it all. Because, you know, he's got a lot of good information here. Okay? Uh, what this represents. And it is a triumphal arch. And it is Roman. Do you understand? They're claiming their victory. They are, they're literally staking their claim. Saying, we have triumphed over you. In a spiritual sense. Because people are just willingly accepting all this idolatry and sodomy and you name it. It's bad. And you got guys like this Kavanaugh who seemingly are wanting to change these things, right? But it's not going to happen, folks. You got to understand, when, when the, these people who serve the gods of this world, whether they be, quote, good or bad, they are in the same house. They're a house divided. It will fall. If you're in Christ, you're not of this world. You don't serve this world. You serve the God of the universe and the King, Jesus Christ. So that's the way it works. And this is all just still building and building and building to their ritual. Now, what's really interesting is when this arch leaves Washington, it's going to travel over to the Netherlands, okay? It's going to go to The Hague. Now, if you're not familiar with The Hague, The Hague is the world court, okay? This is where the UN holds the world court when there are international disputes, okay? What was Trump just totally, totally spouting about? Independence, non-globalism. He's doing the opposite of what these other people have been rolling out for decades, right? So he seemingly is the one who's going to stop it all. But in reality, he's bringing on the, the final stages. He is being used by God, but he is also serving the God of this world. See, it's, it's, it's hard to explain. The bottom line is, is you need to understand that you're in a spiritual war. And, and then live your life with that understanding under the blood of Christ. Or you will fall for the temptations, snares, traps of this world. That's how subtle, cunning, no man is smarter than the devil. Trump is not smarter than the devil. You understand? It's just the way it works, you guys. And so the Hague, the world court, is where the arch of triumph is going next. The Hague, you gotta, you just can't make this stuff up, is totally Roman, okay? It wasn't built up until the 1200s, and this, da 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 da, this guy was building any, everything, and his son, William II, he lived there, and after he was elected king of the Romans, okay, which I will link, okay, so you can understand this stuff, alright? He called the Hague the inner court. Okay, now don't forget, you got the Franciscan order that Judge Kavanaugh is trained in. He's a Franciscan. Okay, that's what he did. The triple tau, the tau is their coat of arms. Francis is the Pope who all of these orders answer to. Whether it be Franciscan or Jesuit, they answer to the Jesuit Pope Francis. He's the one in the, uh, the beast's uh, driver's seat right now. See that? See that? That's who he serves. The dragon. And so, this is all just still part of the ritual. I guess that's my point. Is if you're not in Christ, you're not going to understand, and you're going to be caught in the snares and the deceptions of the world. Remember, man, these, these powers and principalities are a lot smarter than you and me. <laughs> You need God. You need Jesus to, to overcome any of this stuff. Okay? It's just that simple. And uh, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this. Just 
incredibly interesting things going on here, you guys. The Roman Hague World Court, it's going next. Oh, oh, that isn't all. Guess who's in the Hague? Guess who's in the Netherlands right now? Speaking about world leadership. Barack Obama. <laughs> He's there right now as we speak. The future home of the Arch of Triumph. I'll link all this stuff, but this is crazy, you guys. Absolutely crazy. But there it is, you know what I mean? So seek Jesus, and you'll be at peace with it. Let's put it that way. No more confusion and fear and uncertainty. You're sealed, you're delivered when you're in Christ. So seek Him first, foremost, and always. Peace and grace to y'all. Any faith. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,